I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's not Sunday. So now you see the rebel side of me wearing a Sunday shirt on a Thursday. Today we're going to rock some Posca markers on the gel plate. But before I get into that, I want to let you know that I made some things that I've been wanting to make for a while and um, it keeps you young. It will actually, um, I think it might be the fountain of youth or the gateway to it, at least. Stickers! They're totally gonna keep you young. There's a whole bunch of things that can keep you young, but stickers is one of them. I'm actually thinking of making a poster of things that keep you young. That's another thing. So I've just been wanting to design some stickers and have fun with it. Hang on, I can get my water bottle, water bottle, and I'll show you. Okay, so here it is. I've got three of, uh, how many did I make? 11, I think. So there's a little penguin, and these are all pieces of my artwork that I've turned sticky. Um, some moons, a little kitty, she's blushing, I don't know why, the little flirt. Um, and I have a whole bunch more. Anyway, they're really great. They're, um, the quality is mwah, and they're waterproof, which is fab. I can wash this thing and they don't all crumble off into the drain. Uh, and if you're in Canada and the States, uh, shipping's included. So if you want to check them out, link is where all good links go below. And now let's get into some gel plate action with a Posca markers. All right, let's draw. Mwah. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do Posca's on the gel plate today. Uh, all you're going to need is some Posca paint markers. Doesn't matter what size, you can have various sizes. And you're going to need um, your jelly plate, the squishy little sexy beast. Um, roller, and today I'm just going to do some black and white uh, to make it a little easier. And then I have some drawings or um, some pictures I printed out. If you want to do a little drawing cheat, I'll, um, I'll show you a little fun way to do that. Or another way you can use the Poscas on the gel plate is by uh, tracing a picture. Okay, so I'm going to move these things out of the way. Obviously just had it in the shot so it didn't just look like that. A little thing about the Poscas is they will stain your plate, as you can see. Um, there are little ghosts remaining on here. But um, even if you wipe it off, you clean it and everything, they're still going to remain. Another thing you're going to need to do is, if you're doing the drawing hack, we'll start with this rad little dragon, you are going to want your plate to be kind of clean, <laughs> which mine is not, because you need to be able to see through it. So let's put this guy over top. Look at these butterflies are really uh, kind of hindering the, the viewage. Oh well, I can still see through it. So there, you can see where I'm going with this, right? You know what I'm going to do. Let's trace a dragon. You're not going to have to um, watch this whole thing. I'll speed it up, don't worry. But um, for this one, I'm going to use... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where's the size? This is a bit of a smaller one. You can see the tip is a little pointier, so I'm going to be able to get um, more details. Actually, I won't do all those scales. I swear that would just take me forever. Um, we can uh, jazz those up afterwards. Okay, so for teeth, we got this little pointier one. What's this? Um, we got a 0.7 millimeter bullet shape. Uh, I did do one, let's see, with a bigger wider tip. This one was pretty good too. But again, like I said, it's, oh look, I've just got pink drip. That's okay, work it in. That's a much thicker, um, broader, sorry, tip. So it's a little harder to draw detail with. We're gonna give this a little, a little go. All right, let's draw our little dragon. Now, if you've never used Posca's before, you will have to shake it like I just did. And if it's brand new, that the tip will be white. And you just have to move over, sir. You just have to kind of pump it. Pump it, up, pump it, pump it, pump it like that until you get the paint flowing and then you are uh, in business. You're in business. Come back here. All right, here we go. We're gonna trace our little dragon. 
I'll come back to regular speed and uh, give you more tips. Here we go. Ready? Go. <laughs> Okie dokie. Traced. Now we have to let this little guy dry. And you want to give it maybe about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to help it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So we'll give this 10 minutes to dry. And then we're going to pull our print. So intermission. Okay, we're back, baby cakes. Now let's get our roller. Some white paint. I'm just gonna slop it on with uh, my palette knife. Oh yeah, and also make sure you've got um, some scrap paper for your roll to roll your roller on, clean your roller off. And I also forgot to mention, or when I was talking about these little ghosts that remain, they shouldn't come out in your uh, future prints. They're just going to be, they're going to live on your plate now. <laughs> so now it's a very good possibility this will come up with the dragon. We'll see. Because uh, I may not have cleaned it thoroughly. All you have to do really to clean those little ghosts off is make a few prints, just like scrap prints, which you can use as... I um, mean, you could always use this collage paper or backgrounds, you know what I mean. Stuff like that, and that'll help clean off your plate. And then uh, a baby wipe to clean off any other residue. We got them all covered in white paint. Come on, dragon. I'm gonna turn out. This is just a fun little way, you know, like a, a drawing technique on the... Uh, on the plate. It's fun to draw right on it. Or paint. I could do a whole video on that, but it's essentially the same sort of idea. If you use a paintbrush, just paint directly on. Here we go. Let's see how our guy turned out. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. He's a little bit wonky, a little bit derpy, but you know what? The original drawing is a little bit derpy as well. Some medieval dragon. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, there's our little guy. And of course, you know what? I think obviously, obviously he's gonna look better with some scales. So that I could go in later with, you could scrapbook, um, scrapbook paper if you wanted to cut the shapes out, paint it, draw on it, or um, use stencils and dab in, whatever. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so now, Let's clean this guy off. I'm going to pull another print and see if we can get some of the ghost ghost ink gone. Oh my gosh, is this too much paint? Most likely. Always is. I'm good at using too much paint. Rolly roll. Guess what? Too much paint, yo. Look, I got another one. Another dragon! And there's still some... So now what I'm going to do is use a little baby... What's dropping? A little baby wipe. Clean this off a bit. Squeak, squeak. Ooh. Let's speed that up so you don't have to hear that. Okay, we're all clean. But I did notice... If we look, there's some butterfly wing. There's some more butterfly wing. But if that were on a dark back, well, anyways, it happened because I did not clean it well enough. And it's very possible it will happen to you, but it's all about experimenting, right? We're going to see what happens if uh, we try new things. So don't be afraid to push a little hard on your squishy jelly to clean it off. Use a little of that old-fashioned elbow grease which I tried to do here and I got a little more of it off. So, all right, next technique is, how is it a technique? Anyway, we're gonna take our little dragon out. Look, he's still there. Oh, he's still there. Oh my gosh, so 
sticky. God, I just always want to bite this, you know? Ugh, looks so good to bite. All right. Still got a lot of drag in there. So I think I might do another little pull. See if we can uh, clean that off. <laughs> just give me a little moment and uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Nothing came off. Uh, I think I just have a permanent dragon now. Um, and I was going to do another one, but then I thought, you know what? You don't really need to see me draw another one, do you? I had this little birdie that I did. So I'm just going to show you the final result because it's the exact same thing. I just put it under here. I may not be able to do this technique anymore because my dragon is taking up all the real estate. Oh my God, there's a squirrel looking at me. Hi, buddy. Oh my God, he's like tapping on the window. Bro, you need some more peanuts? <sighs> Been distracted by the wildlife. What was I saying? Oh yeah, can't see through my uh, plate anymore because of the dragon. Yeah, I'll figure something out. Anyway, let me show you. Oh yeah, here's another dragon I did too. If you want to look at that while I grab the birdie bird. It's also a cool thing you can do with your prints. I thought, you know what? I had this old bag lying around. So I said, and let me print it on the bag. There it is. Sideways because uh, my camera is so close. Yeah, kind of a neat way to jazz up a gift bag. So this is that little bird. Again, always remember when you print, it's going to be in reverse, right? When you trace it on here, uh, your picture, your print will be the reverse image. So watch out for text. If you do it with text, you're going to have to write backwards. So yeah, it looks kind of cute on the, um, on the bag. I didn't do anything, embellish it or anything because it was just a test, but there's our bird. The next thing we do is freestyle. We grab some colors and we just draw freestyle. Remember I said something about painting too. You could do this with paint brushes, which I've tried and you get the painterly effect. So you'll actually see the brush strokes. I'm gonna use this big old chunky boy. This is uh, 15, it's mega. This, look at, look at the size of that guy. I don't know if you saw when I was, um, when I had the, time lapse like when it was sped up I kept kind of jabbing like that you sometimes you have to do that if you're new to Posca's um, it's just a little tip on them is you have to just kind of get that paint flowing again so you just go boo, boo, boo. oh I got drips <laughs> looks like I got a little too much paint flowing now okay so I'm just gonna draw some flowers or whatever but this is um sorry my arm's getting right in the camera shot isn't it this is uh, thicker, as you can see. So this could take longer than 10 minutes to dry. But uh, fear not, it will still dry. And another thing is, I'm gonna go off the plate there. Another thing is they kind of crack. I don't know what all these fibers are I keep picking up. Yes! They can sort of start to crack. You know what, that's good for that, let's get you know what? Let's fill it in because I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you as it dries. The thicker it is, as it dries, it'll crack a bit, the paint. And it won't always happen, but it does sometimes. And you'll see it actually looks cool, like an old Renaissance painting. You get all those cool cracks in there. You're going to Mona Lisa by your art. Oh, that guy's chunky. I think my green is kind of drying out on me. Time to invent, uh, invent, invest in some more. Okay, leaves. I'm just holding the thing kind of, the thing, the marker sort of just lightly and freely so I don't get, you know, perfect. I just want it to be kind of, what am I trying to say? Let me know in the comments. What is she trying to say? I just want kind of loose vibes. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to let this, uh, what looks like a travesty, dry. And uh, let's see, you're going to have to go for another intermission because this is, this, I think this guy's going to be a little longer than 10 minutes. Grab yourself a coffee, a tea, a glass of grapes. <laughs> Hold that thought, darling. I'm back. This is still wet. I'm going to try. If you saw my other video with the cornstarch, I'm just going rogue here, man. I'm just going to throw some cornstarch into this wet Posca. See what happens. Maybe it'll help it dry faster too. Soak up the paint. Boop, boop, boop. 
Okay. Now it's intermission time. Okay. Let's make this dream a reality. Oh, and I, uh, I didn't say this, but I will link that cornstarch video in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, a fun technique to do with cornstarch, which you're probably going to see if this works. Um, let me pull this. Get in there, you. Okay, now let's see. Now, oh, and I also noticed it ha doesn't really have many cracks this time around. And I think, because I didn't let it sit on the plate for a while, that's when I've discovered I get cracks is when I let it dry longer than it should. Let's pull this. I'll show you another one I did with um, some flowery, just rough freestyle drawing uh, that did crack. I'm going to show you how it looks renaissance. Renaissance. Okay, let's see. I can't imagine this is going to be like the absolute beautiful list. Is that a word? Beautiful list? Picture because <laughs> when I drew it, I was like, good lord, are those flowers? But anyway, look at that. And also, I never did try it prior to filming this um, with the cornstarch. And uh, I like it, y'all. I'm digging the texture in there. This was kind of fun. I just go rogue, as I said, and I uh, had an idea and I went with it. Is that a leaf? Seriously, are these leaves? Have I never drawn a leaf before? Uh, let me show you the one with the cracks. Oh my god, I totally use the same color. Now those are leaves, right? Those are leaves. Here's the cracks. It's neat, isn't it? It's kind of cool. I mean, it adds a different, uh, different vibe to it for sure. Cracks. Cracks and cornstarch. Cracks and cornstarch. Yeah, I like that cornstarch situation. Okay, dope. Time to clean this. And I've decided I think we're gonna go a little off script again. Like, I never have scripts, let me just tell you that, because I can't plan these things. It doesn't feel real if I plan it. I like to just go with the flow and do it in the moment. Anyway, la-di-da. Let's do something else. We, um, let's do some... What I'm gonna do is, we'll try and do this quickie. I'm gonna do some hearts. Okay, and what we'll do is... See what happens if we start putting, or if we start, if we put some stencils over top. Let's layer these. Hang on, I like to have odd numbers, so we'll fill some of these in. All my Poscos seem to be running out all at the same time. Fill you in, fill you in. But you notice how in the ones that I've done already and shown you, you see the, the drawing marks, right? Like you can see the mark. It's kind of just a different texture. Let's see, let's get some real... Like I said too, again with um, with brush strokes. Let's fill these guys in with... Oh my god, that's real juicy! Okay, fill them in with a bit of red. Okay, and then I'm gonna let these dry. Let's do scribbles. Scribble, 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 scribble. scribble. If it's wet, it's going to blend in. Let's do that. Why not? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's blend these colors. And we're going to let it dry. Once this is dry, then I will put a stencil over top. See what happens. Okay. You know what? This is good because we don't want to be waiting forever. I mean, in actuality, when I send you to the intermission zone, uh, it's quite quick, but for me, I gotta sit there and like figure out something to do. I'm like, come on, dry, dry, dry. I'm impatient. I want to see what happens. Okay, so intermission zone again, and uh, we'll come back and lay a stencil over this. Uh, see what happens. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, my love. Oh my gosh, I swear that felt like four hours, if not more. Okay, it just seemed to take forever to dry, but I think it's just because I really wanted to get to doing this. So let's, what I'm going to do with the stencil is, 
instead of putting, oh, sorry, I bit my cheek as I was saying that, instead of putting a full um, layer of paint on and then uh, laying this entire guy down, I think I'm just going to dab bits of the stencil and uh, yeah, anyways, you'll know what I mean when I'm doing it. It's also a cool way to show you what I use to dab with my stencils. It's this. This is what I use to dab. A little, one of those makeup sponges. Okay, let's see. Sit there, please. And get out some turquoise paint. Okay, I should get these dudes out of the way. Okay, I'll lay this down. I'm just going to kind of randomly dab areas of the stencil. And I will cover some of the heart just to see what happens so we can see. And I don't know if you can see this. So I just put out some paint and I'm just going to squish my makeup sponge in there. Okay. And dab. Now, uh, let's let that dry. The thing with gel plate printing is, for me anyway, I don't like to go in there with expectations because uh, those never turn out. <laughs> gel plate printing is like a mystery. You know, whatever you make, it's not going to be what you can picture in your head because you don't know what paint is going to get pulled up, what paint's going to be left behind. You just are sort of left in a realm of unknown, which is kind of kind of how life is. We don't know how anything's going to turn out. Okay, remove the stencil. I don't know why I let it dry with the stencil on. I usually just take it off and let it dry without. Okay, so looks a little funky like that. Oh, and also with these uh, little Beauty Blender makeup sponges, um, I like to use them because you can just wash it. And uh, don't forget to wash it. I forgot to wash one and it went very hard and I had to throw it out. But yeah, just give this a nice little scrub and voila, you can use it again. Okay, I'm just going to pull with some white paint. No, oh, wait, it's all in the lid. Okay, This is like an old one I had to turn upside down so I could get the paint out. Here we go. We are going to experience how this works for the first time together because, yes, I never tried one of these out. Again, just have fun. Just play when it comes to art. You know, experiment. It's all about experimenting. So much comes from play and experimentation. If it turns out like crap, try it again. Also, I don't think I noted what kind of paper I'm using, just copy paper. Regular copy paper. Okay, let's see. Gosh, I could probably get another two pulls out of that. Hey, look at that, little background. So this is what I'm talking about, the drawing marks. You can see the marker which is kind of neat. So if you did like little scribbles and you get just sort of a freehand look, it's kind of nice. Well, anyways, um, that is the prints. I also did some butterflies. I'll show you before I sign off. So this was my printout and I put it under the plate and traced it and got these little guys, these little fellas. So have fun, experiment, um, comment below if you, uh, if you try it and uh, let me know how it went. And uh, also don't forget the uh, stickers. If you want to collect some stickers, the link will be below and have fun, experiment, enjoy yourself and play. Always remember to play. I will see you in the next video, sweets. Mwah.